Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, November 1st of 2019. My God, the year is running out. And that's not good when you're 78 years old. You don't, you don't want the years coming faster, which is what's happening uh, to me and happens to old people. When they get old, you'd like for the years to stretch out, unless you're in pain and decrepit and whatever. Um, this video is going to be on, God, I don't even know what they're calling themselves now. Uh, when Amazon started delivering food, well, let me explain. Uh, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, I share an apartment with my ex-wife. We've been divorced for, I think, 40 years or so. And my grown son. We all share this apartment. And uh, that way, uh, because before we were each paying, you know, an apartment rent, uh, electricity, uh, cable service, on and on and on. And this way we're, <clears throat> you know, sharing that we've been doing this for a few years, sharing this apartment. And uh, my ex-wife is confined to a wheelchair. Uh, we do not own a vehicle, also that includes my grown son, we do not own a vehicle. So my uh, ex-wife and my grown son uh, go to Walmart to purchase groceries once or twice a month. It, it, it varies. There's no certain day they do it on. They go <clears throat> and, uh, you know, pick up groceries. Um, since my wife is handicapped, they, there's a thing here in Fort Worth called, they've changed the name. It, it was MITS, M-I-T-T-S. I don't know what they call it now. But a bus comes. It's not free and you pay more than you would pay if you walked out, you know, a block or two away and caught a regular bus. But this is a bus van type thing that you call and say you want it and you want to go someplace in Fort Worth, doctor's office or Walmart or wherever you want to go as long as it's in the Fort Worth area. And then you pay. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but you pay more than you would pay if you were to use it, but they come to your door and they have a ramp or a wheelchair and what have you. So they go, uh, I don't have to go, and uh, they go once or twice a month uh, to the grocery store. It's actually working out now. They go like once a month, I would say. It, it's uh, to Walmart and they load up on groceries and come back and uh, it you know usually works out okay but there's a possibility of like I think it was the last time that whatever you know uh, they sent a vehicle sometimes they will send a a cab that has a contract with, but it has to be a cab, of course, for her that can hold a, you know, wheelchair. So, you know, they sent a vehicle that couldn't haul a wheelchair. So then she, they had to wait and it turned out, you know, but so far everything has, I mean, worked out. No food spoilage or, you know, whatever. Uh, but we, uh, 
at first, uh, you know, when we about the same time, and I can't tell you exactly when it was. You know, we heard that Walmart was, uh, you know, delivering food to the home, and since that's where they shop, uh, but we, I, I, well, I didn't check on it. She was, you know, she checked and even called Walmart and Walmart said, no, we don't deliver because she called one of their stores. No, we don't deliver. And then she called, you know, some Walmart that says, uh, oh yes, we deliver, but it's uh, DoorDash or some service, you know, that delivers. Um, and well then, okay, how do we, they didn't, you know, Walmart didn't know. So we ended up ordering from food from Amazon back then. And we had a few deliveries, worked out okay. Uh, it bothered my ex-wife, it bothered me a little bit. Their prices, you know, uh, were higher. Amazon's food service delivery was higher and you had to pay, I can't remember if it was $14 or 15 or something for delivery. So you had to order and also pay, I think it was $15, I might be wrong. And then of course, it's optional, but you know, we tipped, of course, in addition to that. And uh, so they delivered. Now the first time that um, Amazon delivered, we wondered, you know, and it <clears throat> came in some great bags which for the first few times, these were like insulated bags. And like the first time they came, you know, and you have tracking that shows up or whatever. The first time they came, I said uh, to the driver, who, which is, who's uh, an individual who's working, using their vehicle, their own personal vehicle, uh, like an Uber driver or a, you know, Lyft driver or something. Uh, I said, I, you know, I said, I think this bag goes back. No, no. They said the driver no, it doesn't go back. I said, I think or not. Cause so they left and I think that was the first time. So the bag was supposed to go back, uh, bags or bag. I think there was, that was maybe the insulated one or something. Then after that, maybe the second order was the same thing. But then after that, it was like, oh, we need the bag back, you know? Uh, they sent dry ice. Uh, in the meantime, my ex-wife, Darlene, um, was trying to figure out how in the world to order from Walmart because she knows the Walmart products, you know, what the store has and it was, the food was cheaper and she is very very frugal and uh, uh, which is good. We're on, each of us are on, you know, retired on social security or whatever. Um, so I think that was like a $15 delivery fee plus tipping when they delivered. And then she was going to Walmart once or twice a month and she it really bothered her when we ordered from Amazon and the product and it was, didn't matter if it was like a small amount, you know, just the fact that it was more expensive, uh, bothered her, but it was delivered. Well, I mean, the people that had delivered private individuals, you know, working for Amazon, they all did a great job. Uh, I drank a lot of, Coke. I shouldn't. It's Coke Zero. No sugar, but I still shouldn't be drinking. Well, probably nobody should be drinking colas. Um, and one, two, three, four. There's, I have 24 packs, of, or not, I have four 24 packs of Coke Zero over, over, you know, here now that are haven't been opened up yet. Um, we purchased a dolly, a, a good one, and we have that and the 
all of the drivers from the very beginning, you know, that way, like sometimes we order, or the normal order would be five or six 24 packs of Coke. And so the, when the drivers are coming, we, we have tracking and hey, I either will go out there with a the cart or as soon as they get here, I say, hey, you can use our card and they wow you're the only person that you know that's thank you know whatever so that works out for them and for us so uh anyway the amazon deliveries were great so then amazon purchased whole foods we never went to a whole food grocery store and all i know about them is the things i've heard about them and the stand-up comedians who have done a number of stand-up comedians who've done hysterically funny things about shopping at Whole Foods. Uh, but anyway, they purchased that that company and their stores and and so I don't know if you still can. Yeah, you can. Cuz up here now there you know there's Whole Foods. And that Whole Foods was noted well if you if I never shopped in one of those, but uh, hippies. Do we have hippies anymore? What would these people be nowadays? California people. Uh, anyway. And you, I guess you go into Whole Foods and they have range chickens, chickens that are not confined in little coops, which is good, I'm sure. And anyway, I've seen comedic, comedy routines done that, are, that were accurate about how expensive uh, Whole Foods is and uh, the type of products that they carry. Saw so one comedian that did a routine about uh, trying to check out, you know, at the checkout lane, and it was just funny, and I guess a little bit realistic or totally realistic. So Amazon offers uh, this whole food we've never purchased from there. So they have, I guess still, their Amazon food delivery service. So they have the Amazon delivery service, the Whole Foods delivery thing, which we know nothing about. So now I, I think that the, they have changed the name. Of, well, this Amazon Fresh that I'm getting ready to order from, uh, we have not ordered from it before. It was, I think, called Amazon something else before. Uh, not quite, this is not to be confused with the Whole Foods ordering place. So, but if they have now some of the Whole Food, I think, items in this Amazon Fresh. And I wondered if anybody was like, I just told the ex-wife, okay, I'm gonna, we haven't ordered from these, this, because they just did away with, it used to be that in order to order from Amazon Foods, you had to, pay $15 delivery fee. I think that was $15. They've now changed just within, I think, the last week, I believe. And you don't have to, you know, you'll need to check yourself, maybe depending on the area you live in or something. Um, uh, so this will be my first order using Amazon Fresh, which I think, anyway, I, I just 
before I told the ex-wife, I'm going to do a video on this delivery. And uh, then I said, you know, before I do it, I, I, I bet you there are hundreds, if not thousands, of YouTube videos on that. So I just did a check. Uh, here we are, let's see. Uh, Ten Untold Truths About Amazon's Fresh Fruit Delivery. That's from three months ago. Here's one. How my fresh orders are delivered and packaged. And that looks like... So I may not do that. I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, but it may be. You may see at the end of this video that included because when the order comes, and I think you get like two-hour delivery, so I think we're going to get it delivered in two hours. If it looks different than this for some reason, I will... Uh, Here's Amazon Flex Whole Food Deliveries. Here's Amazon Fresh. Uh, it's, what's it called? Again here for... Yeah, okay, Amazon Fresh. So that's the, the new name we, you know. So... Uh, and that's from a year ago. No, let's see, wait a minute. That's from 12 months ago. Amazon Fresh is from two years ago. I'm, I'm going by the... Uh, okay, so we're out of... Uh, so there are other videos. If, <clears throat> when I upload this video, if you see... Um, If I run across one, which I probably won't, I'll put a link below if I see a good one, you know. Somebody really does a good one. But if you run across somebody who does a video about Amazon Fresh, um, a good link, you know, put it below in a comment. You can do that, you know, say, hey, Jim, or whatever. Hey, Jim, this is a really good video by, you know, Bob Smith or whatever the handle they use or something on Amazon Fresh or something like that. Uh, and you can do that below. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and order now. And this is what, see, Amazon Fresh. Start shopping. Past purchases, grocery list. So I haven't made any, I wonder if I click on past purchases, if it's going to show up that that's, I don't think so. I think this is something different than the Amazon thing they start. Let's see if any pass. No. Okay. So I haven't, so this is new for us. Uh, let's see. Grocery list orders. Okay. Grocery list. Okay, I don't have a grocery list. Uh, so you can start one. Okay, I have a list uh, of things like that I have made uh, that I can go to. So, well, let me show you those. No, okay, this is showing their list. Anyway, let me not confuse you with that. But So you can make a list. Add any item to your list by checking and add to grocery list. So then you would have that list and then you could, so. But we want to go to uh, first, uh, let's see. About, okay, let's go to about fresh. Okay, groceries delivered right to your door. Go grocery shopping, get all your favorites like bread, milk, and popsicles. Uh, plus Amazon devices and more, okay. Yeah, that's something. You see up here in the corner, I put a... It's turned cold here in Fort Worth, and I've got two windows in my bedroom. One of them has a real thin... Uh, I have shades, Venetian shades, but one of them also has a real thin... Both the windows did have the same color and everything, but only one now has... 
uh, a very thin. But I saw that Amazon had for uh, $16 or something, one that would fit my window. My window's 40 inches wide and 60 long. And so I put that in the, uh, on the, tr I usually put it on my Amazon list, but I put it right in the cart a day or two ago. And then I saw that uh, add eighteen dollars and eighty seven cents from fresh food delivery and you know get it so see the minimum I think is thirty five dollars to to get but there's no delivery charge since I have something in the cart but I think I'm gonna order about fifty dollars worth so anyway that explains that up there Get it delivered within a two-hour delivery and have your groceries delivered free of charge with any cart above $35. You know, by the way, I'm thinking that if you want to order something and have some food thrown in, but I suspect since they're doing this thing of delivery, there's going to be a limit on, you know, is it at the same place as the uh, food being delivered? So I'm, I'm guessing that what they have done will do is they'll try to figure out what do people in this order, you know, in this area need, what is, you know, a generic item that's not, you know. So I, I don't think you can, don't count on that you want to order a pair of shoes and you can spend $15 more or whatever and get some groceries delivered or something. So don't, don't count on that. Let me know, though, beneath if, if it, something like that works out for you. Receive fresh groceries. Our packaging is designed to keep your delivery at the proper temperature. Like I said, they use dry ice. Quick reorder. Start shopping. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have to be careful here is that I don't show you my address or my credit card number or whatever. So, at some point, uh, I'll probably, maybe I'll just, well, we'll see how that works out. I don't want to have to edit the video, so I'm going to try to be careful, so. Okay, start shopping. So anyway, we have uh, fruits and vegetables, meat, uh, dairy, eggs, and cheese, uh, 365 everyday values, bread and bakery. By the way, we just uh, ordered in from Amazon a few days ago, $150 worth of stuff. So what I'm going to do this time, it's the first time I've done it. One reason... <laughs> I'm just placing this order myself, but I'll try to, I'll include some. I ask if what they wanted, you know, the family, but I'm just going to order some stuff in that I want and to show you and uh, my ex-wife would love to do something. Well, in a way she would love, but she also does not like, and this is going to be more expensive, I'm sure. And, uh, that would upset her because <laughs> she'd be saying, Walmart's cheaper. I, well, uh, whatever. So I'm saving her a little bit of frustration, although she would love, do, you know, doing this. And, uh, but, so I'm ordering this just, and I did ask both of them. They, they couldn't think of anything they wanted. But as I go through, I don't know exactly what I'm going to order. So let's start out. <laughs> I very rarely order fresh fruit and vegetables. You know, I would actually now, because I'm a type 2 diabetic and, and I'm fat as a, look like I'm pregnant. Uh, fresh fruits and vegetables both, they, it's just hard to keep them fresh. I mean, you know, so. Maybe this will work out somehow where I could order salads, but I'm not sure how, you know. 
I'm not going to order. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's start with uh, fresh deals. Okay. Um, red raspberries, organic butternut squash. I don't think I've ever eaten a squash. Organic spaghetti squash. No idea what that is. Organic baby spinach. Oh, my God. Clamshell. Uh, pear. You can buy them here, it looks like. Uh, you know, one at a time. Red bell peppers. Pomeranian. I've actually never, you know, I'm 78 years old. I've never had a uh, Pomeranian. Okay, that's on that line. That's all there is. Coupons on fresh. Uh, okay. I have uh, the ex-wife picked up some big bags because she usually picks up one thing at Walmart of French onion dip and picks up a bag or two of potato chips for me to dip. This time she picked up two containers of French onion dip, so I was even thinking about <laughs> eating those while doing this video, but Okay. I think that line's over with. Deal of the week is uh, that. That's the only one they have. They had something I checked yesterday sort of a little bit. And whatever it was, the special was a good deal. And uh, maybe I should add this to the cart. I'm going to add this to the cart because it is a good deal. The regular pr price is $4.79. It's 50 cents. I can't remember what the item was yesterday. It was something I would add to the list. Um, uh, so 10% um, off chili essentials for making chili I guess well no there's some cans of it here let's see stewed tomatoes uh, I don't like black beans I think black beans are actually healthy and uh, organic olive oil spray ranch style beans with red peppers wow I used to have I used to eat this I think a long time ago beanie weenies or whatever baked beans with bacon I like baked beans I'm not sure about I'm going to add one to the cart. By the way, they have ratings, but there's not very many people that uh, Van Camp's pork and beans and tomato sauce. Well, so there's not very many ratings. I mean, you know, uh, I wonder if I could rate something and I haven't bought it yet. Let's try see if I can here uh, okay I won't be able to because this is uh, uh, I'm not allowed to review items anymore I did a thousand reviews or whatever for them and they kicked me off so okay so we that's what I was oh now let's see how do I get back to my order now I think it'll still be there. So let's go to Amazon. 
online shopping, fresh. Well, that stuff's already in the cart. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so this little different view of it, but it's still the same. We can see I've got beans in there and uh, chips. This seems like to me a good deal. Five bananas. One bunch, five bananas. A dollar nine. I'm going to add that to the cart. Here's some organic bananas. One bunch, five for a dollar forty-four. I'm going to add that to the list. Bananas go bad so fast. We'll see how they do. Uh, blueberries. Uh, the you know, see some of the stuff we have, like the onions and uh, aluminum, aluminum, alim, uh, lemon. Um, cucumber, asparagus. Oh, I do get, uh, which I guess are called stallions, stallion. I do have the ex-wife pick up for me uh, green onions and I'll uh, I'll eat those with other if I'm eating things I, I you know I I uh, eat those just so one bunch I'll add that one to the card uh, not big sure how big one on you know Garlic, seedless grapes. Okay, so I think that takes care of that line. Well, it says see more. Let's see what happens when you do that. Oh, okay. Wonder how large is large because at Walmart, uh, because my ex-wife goes, she buys for me. Sometimes my son will eat one. Gigantic. Takes about 10 minutes in a microwave or more to, you know, to cook it. And I eat one, that's a meal for me or something. Probably not good for a diabetic. I think something like potatoes turn into starch or turn into sugar. You know, like anything like white bread is bad, and uh, I think potatoes are bad, but uh, I think I'm going to order one. I know at Walmart you can now, <laughs> these at Walmart are a big bag and it's very cheap. When I order one of these, the ex-wife is going to say, why did you do that? Because you could get it at Walmart, you know, but... I'd kind of like to see how big it is. No, I'm not going to order it. The <laughs> ex-wife's going to see the order and, I mean, she, I'm just trying to get across to you that she's very conscious of cost. You have to be, you know, when you, an American and you get old. Wait a minute, did I take my food? I mean, my, I did. This is the 31st. Today's the first, so I just don't have my, oh God, I gotta fill out the, I gotta fill my, see there's 31 of these things. I'm gonna have to sit here and put my things into the container. Um, let's see, I'm not gonna order a potato. Okay, how long is this video so far? 34 minutes, okay. Um, I might have to, well, let's, let's continue through this. Okay, bananas, organic products. Uh, organic lemon, organic, I don't even know what that is. Looks like grass. Uh, organic rusted potatoes. 
they look small. Pears. We used to uh, had somebody who sent us at uh, Christmas time, you know, a box, and more than one year, it came with a lot of pears, more than we could possibly, you know, eat, and, you know, I took some pears to the office and stuff like that, the apartment office, you know. Here in the United States, I'm sure we're other countries also, <clears throat> there are places where, like, for somebody you could, you know, say your elderly mother or parents or uh, people you know or something, you could sign up for a service and be like Fruit of the Month Club or uh, uh, whatever. So, every or flowers or plants or what, you know. And every month the people would get, and for the fruit, it, it would work out, and so that would vary with country and whatever, if they have that, you know, like you'd get the, the fruit of the month. And uh, that's a pretty nice, you know, a pretty nice thing. I, uh, there's some videos, I'll, maybe if you, maybe I'll put the link below. <clears throat> My oldest daughter, and her husband live in Washington, D.C. And, uh, you know, they, in, they kept inviting me in the past to uh, come and stay for a week or two. And finally I did it. And I'm glad I did because now I would not be able to go out and, and that was, I was just the beginning of the stage where I made it going out for like a three hour walk every other day. I stayed there for two weeks with them. And two weeks, I love my family and they love me. Uh, but two weeks is a long time. We didn't have any problems or anything, but two weeks is a long time. But in order to see the things in Washington, D.C., you can't, we, you know, we did it because of me every other day. So they had a day's rest in between. And then it was like, worked out exactly wasn't exactly planned, but uh, for three hours every other day. And for me, somebody who's my age and who's never been to Washington, D.C., and who is a news, has been since I was in grade school, and politic person since I was in grade school, uh, and, you know, has watched movies, and you see Washington, D.C., and if you watch the news, Every day you see the Lincoln Memorial and Washington Monument and all that type of stuff. That was really something. I'm glad I, I'm glad I did it. I wish I'd have done it a year or two earlier because it was a strain on me. Uh, you know, at the Lincoln Memorial, I told my uh, son-in-law, I said, I don't think I can make it up the stairs. And he said, okay, there's an elevator around. And I took the elevator up. Then I was a, I walked down. Unfortunately, when we were there, the Lincoln Memorial, you know, the uh, water area out there, I don't know how deep it is, not real deep, but uh, they were cleaning, so it, they didn't have water in it. But, you know, but anyway, okay, back to uh, organic products. Okay, these are organic products. Uh, I think I already looked at that. Snacks. Okay. Okay, the, this is, a few times when I go to, like, Walmart, sometimes I don't think I ever go, well, uh, yeah, I have been to Walmart for grocery shop. I have been actually grocery shopping with my, uh, daughter, I have a daughter, that lives in another, you know, apartment with her son, my grandson, who did live with me when she was in Sweden for five or ten years or whatever. But anyway, I, yeah, I, so I have been, but uh, 
these snack things are, and I have bought, but I'm not going to spend this time. I haven't I haven't spent very much. I'm only up to, uh, I haven't spent that much, have I? But I'm not going to, that's kind of expensive. Um, but when I go, sometimes I will, uh, like I will purchase or have my ex-wife celery sometimes. And I will sit here and, but now the green onions, if I have a TV turkey dinner or a, a whole bunch of different things, I will have a lot of times green, you know, some green onions. But uh, I don't want to spend really this much, at, you know. Uh, this is sort of a test, it's sort of a YouTube, excuse for a YouTube video. Prepackaged products. Organic baby spinach, broccoli, uh, romaine heart leaves, okay, there's a, uh, okay, rainbow carrots, I have in the past, not recently, I have done that there again, but small carrots, you know, that I, I'm getting so old now, I'm afraid to, uh, chomp into a, a, uh, okay, into, into a carrot, I may leave a tooth in it or something, watermelon spears, spears, um, sometimes we get a, big watermelon, but it's kind of hard to, you know, kind of hard to deal with, you know, cutting it up ourselves. Although I've seen, I haven't watched them. And uh, I guess there's some YouTube videos on the proper way to cut a watermelon up. You know, the easiest and, uh, but when the times we do get a watermelon, it's kind of like, have to make sure we don't cut ourselves. Uh, have to make sure we don't get, you know, watermelon juice all over the place. And uh, if you sit and eat it, it's all okay. But if you have to put it in the refrigerator, you don't want, you know. So okay, I think I sort of covered that. Fresh herbs, I will skip. My uh, daughter in Washington, D.C., they grow their, when I went there, in fact, they had, they uh, grow some of their uh, fresh herbs there. And I actually purchased for them a thing. I watched Twit TV a while back, several years, and they, and especially the Jesuit priest or whatever, I think he was the one that did the, uh, he did a whole bunch of videos on Twit TV showing how to use this container and you put the things and it, it automatically waters them, automatically turns the light on and off, all that kind of stuff. I uh, sent one of those to, um, uh, to my daughter and son-in-law and, uh, don't remember if I sent it for like Christmas or if it was just sent sort of a thank you for, you know, letting me stay there for two weeks. Or whatever. Okay, nuts and seeds. I like walnuts. Eight ounces, I don't think is very much. We get the big boxes, by the way, of popcorn. And, uh, we get a big box also of, with packets of uh, cocoa for making hot cocoa. I usually forget about that. And I usually, forget, a lot of times I forget about the popcorn. And now at my age with the gaps, which I've had for years, around, the I eat the popcorn from time, you know, in the microwave. But I pay for it, you know. 
Okay, cashews I love. <clears throat> but cashews are expensive. Peanuts, you know, in the shell, salted. Uh, the ex-wife would a lot of times, you know, order a bag. Or not, you know, or pick up when she went. A bag of peanuts. But I'd have to vacuum because I'd sit in here, you know. I'd have to vacuum every time. Because no matter how you do it, unless you have, unless you do it inside a plastic bag or something, it's, I just couldn't stand looking down and seeing all the uh, shells on the, but, uh, of course those are, I think, are un, already, not, sometimes our Walgreens, uh, which I don't go to very often anymore. Uh, down this about one block, two blocks, about three blocks. I can't make it three blocks now without worrying if I'm going to have to call 911. But sometimes they have some these uh, discounted uh, cashews and uh, stuff like that. I'm probably not going to, because these are a little expensive. I'm also not sure exactly about the uh, size. Never been a raisin person or an apricot person. Uh, let's see. Wow, I haven't. Oh, come on here. You know, I should be check. I should be listening for my own audio, I hope. Let's see. You know, I've thought of like having limes or something and uh, or even the juice in a container and doing a little squirt or something maybe and I had don't do that, but Okay, onions. I do like onions. And a, a lot of times, actually my wife, ex-wife, keeps like the onions and stuff down below a cabinet with my arthritis. If something's in the, uh, 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 I don't bend over usually. Otherwise, I, um, well, a lot of times, just a white onion, you know, slice them up and just eat it, you know, you take a chunk and eat it or whatever. So I could, you know, order vegetarian products. Oh my God. My oldest daughter and her husband are, they're definitely vegetarians. He's definitely a vegan, vegan, vegan. And I think, I hope he's not watching. <laughs> uh, I think my, his wife, I think, I'm not sure she's a hundred percent. You know, she's a vegetarian for sure, but I'm not sure that she's a hundred percent vegan. Uh, let's see. Years ago when they first started or, uh, but, you know, they came to visit us years and years ago. They brought some uh, vegetarian products, vegetarian hamburgers or vegetarian, you know, things that they, because they were concerned about our health. And now <laughs> they were right, I guess. By the way, to if... <clears throat> My legs are swollen. My feet are, I can't even get regular shoes on. Been that way for years. My legs are swollen. I have poor circulation to my legs. Um, when I went to, and that's where I was a few years ago. I'll put a link below to my, in fact, I have a playlist. I'll put a link below to my Washington DC videos. Um, anyway, so I went there and I did that, uh, 
I ate their food. And now there was a, like, I ordered in pizza one in the two weeks. I ordered in pizza and I got uh, what kind of pizza I asked them, you know, do you guys eat? And then I got one for myself. And then once, maybe twice, they lived real, they've moved now, but they lived real close to a uh, shopping mall. I walked over once or twice in a two-week period and got a hamburger and fries. But basically, I ate their their food, and it was good. They cooked together. Uh, you know, like I told you, they have, they grow their own, some of their own uh, herbs, and they cook as a team together. And uh, the food was good. And then they, we, and then, uh, now I went out, I, I, uh, there was a documentary made and, and the guy came to at Fort Texas, but at that time I was living in Carrollton, Texas. He came there, he came not just for me, but for other few other people. He went all over the United States the interviewing and he interviewed me for about three hours, but he only used <laughs> about a minute and a half of me in this uh, documentary that he made. But, uh, Anyway, when that was previewed in San Jose at the Computer History Museum, at that time I was in Miami and I flew out to San Francisco, I guess. And my oldest daughter and her husband, they lived then in Los, uh, Los Angeles. They came up, met me at the airport, and uh, we went to the uh, release of the documentary. And I, I was, I came the furthest. The uh, guy who did the documentary said of the people who had traveled there. Uh, but anyway, so they said, "Oh, let's go," because we spent it. I spent a couple of days there, I think. Yeah. Um, so they said, let's go to a vegetarian restaurant. And so we went, I think I have video of, or pictures of that. I think I'm not sure I have videos, maybe just a picture going in terrible. I mean, it was, by the way, they came my, from Los Angeles. Uh, they visited us here. Actually it was in Carrollton. And uh, they came by, they drove and they said, oh, we, uh, there's this place in Fort Worth. So that was Carrollton. And that was the first time, you know, they said, there's this place in Fort Worth that's listed as the greatest vegetarian, you know, it's a great vegetarian. And uh, so we went, we went to uh, the plaza and the school book depo depository in Dallas be where John F. Kennedy was assassinated, you know, outside and whatever. And then, you know, they drove over to Fort Worth to this great vegetarian restaurant. I couldn't, I mean, I, I couldn't eat the food. Uh, so, well, I, oh, in the beginning, I also mentioned, you know, like that when they came to visit us in the past, they brought stuff like vegetarian, vegetarian hot dogs, vegetarian hamburgers. And you know, no way I couldn't eat that stuff. That's, that's garbage. They admit now, I think, because when I visit them, I think they said, yeah, uh, that stuff was no good. It was like they were in that, like a sort of a religious type thing, vegetarian. And they thought it was, and it was, you know, um, but so when I was in Washington, D.C., oh, when I was in Washington, D.C., uh, overweight, um, swollen legs, swollen feet, been swollen for years. Uh, so I mostly ate their food. 
when I was there, there I don't know if they, I don't know if they had a scale there. I didn't weigh. I don't know if they had a scale. Maybe in their bathroom upstairs or something they had. I don't know. But anyway, all of a sudden my pants were about to fall off of me, and I knew I had I was lost some weight. The swelling on my feet. My feet went down to eating their food, vegetarian food. My feet went down to normal. I didn't know that they could get to normal. And uh, anyway, they uh, and so we we tried some uh, vegetarian food there. Well, they made what they made was great. So they've learned. And you can eat vegetarian food that tastes good, I know now. And, uh, but anyway, they talked about this restaurant that, uh, that they loved that only served vegetarian food. So before, and they talked about it a number of times that, you know, we've got to take you over there, you know, whatever. So before I left, uh, we went to this. Now, this restaurant <clears throat> only serves vegetarian food. If you, that's all they serve. So I, I'm thinking, well, they're not going to be in business very long. By the way, if uh, I'll ask, it may not get added right away. I will ask my daughter in an email, and she's busy, uh, works really hard, and uh, I'll ask. And I'll, I'll get a link to it. So in case you're in the Washington, D.C. area. Because we went there. And uh, LaDonna, she ordered the uh, thing that she always, that she likes, I guess. And I don't know how much, if she, but the, the thing that she likes, their plate. My son-in-law, Aaron, he ordered the plate that he likes. And uh, I ordered something that was like a sampler. I said, bring me, you know, whatever it was, whatever it was called. And that's what I got. And so I was like, this is great. This is, this, this is vegetarian. You know? Everything on the sampler was great. And then LaDonna tried, you know, <laughs> and Aaron, and he was like, oh, wow, wow, you know. So you can, uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll get the link and put the name in case you're in Washington, D.C. or whatever. Okay, I've got to, an hour, oh my God. Uh, okay, where's the rest of their food? I mean, uh. I need to order some TV dinners, uh, fresh vegetables, fresh herbs, packaged foods. Okay. Okay. Deals, list, foods, Beverly, let's say, wait a minute, okay. Deals, list, foods. 365 produce okay meats and seafood here we go I love I just talked about vegetarian and uh, organic prairie pasture let's see ground beef uh, boneless okay um Chicken, ranch ground pork, chicken, okay, perfectly paired for dinners, okay, raw shrimp, I'm actually looking for like TV dinners or <clears throat> or from like a deli 
and I'm sure that I, in fact, I saw it uh, the other day or something. It was kind of a uh, okay. My arthritis leaning in or whatever I'm doing here is. Arthritis is oh, kicking in. Seafood. Okay, pork. Some of you people who, for religious reasons or health reasons, are saying, oh my God, pork, don't show pork. Okay, bacon, frozen meats. Okay. Chicken nuggets. Uh, oh, this is something actually. I think it's Johnsonville hot Italian. I don't think that's. Uh, okay. I'm going to stop this video and take care of some business. And then I will be back. Okay, I am back. It's a little bit later. And uh, I ordered about $60 worth of stuff. They're including that that was already in my basket, a drape for the window that I told you about. Hopefully keep some of the cold air from blowing in. Uh, they recommend a tip of $5. I went ahead and, of course, kept that. Um, there was no delivery fee other than, you know, recommending a tip for the driver. Uh, as you can see, the driver is six stops away. Uh, you could pick... The uh, delivery time, if they they had for five dollars, you could pick like one hour delivery or something, and pick your time. <clears throat> but if you, that's you know, I just took a two hour delivery thing, and they starting at six a.m. You know, to eight a.m. was the first slot, so that's that's what I clicked. And like I said, the driver is uh, on her way. Um, I'm not sure if I can pull up the list of food without... I don't want to show my address. Uh, let me do that over, let me do that over here, let's see. I'll do it on my other monitor, so, just so my address doesn't show up, or credit card number or something. <laughs> okay, let's see. I go to... Amazon. I click on uh, orders. Okay, I click on it says track or view your order. Okay, um, 16 items in the order. Track or view. Now I've, I've got the same Actually, it's a little bit different because it's, uh, I guess, the map they're using for, what is this? Uh, what 
Oprah. Um, no, it's not Oprah. Um, okay, wait a minute. I'll view, I'll view all items. Okay. Let me go down here and see. Okay, it doesn't show my address. So I will bring that over here so you can see it. Here's what I ordered. Please don't ridicule me and make fun of me. So we have one can of baked beans coming. This Johnsonville, by the way, uh, beef bratwurst is excellent. Uh, I've got some shredded four cheese to come to put on pizza or whatever, you know, could be on chili or whatever. Got some uh, honey barbecue boneless chicken bites. Got a uh, Dorjono uh, pizza. Got some sliced baked ham. Uh, here's my curtain is coming. That's that's pretty amazing, you know that uh, that you're ordering food and that. The, but I'm sure there's a limited supply of. Uh, cottage cheese, have a bunch of bananas, uh, another pizza, some uh, green onions, scallions. I don't even know what scallions, I guess that's another name for green onions. Uh, these were on sale here. Tortilla chips. Have some soft pretzels coming. Another bunch of bananas. The reason I ordered two, you know, one said something, you know, like free range, they let the bananas roam or something. And then the other was antibiotic free or something. I don't know. Anyway, I ordered two different. Then some more Parmesan cheese and some uh, sliced chicken breast. So that's it. So. Let me, I think I can go ahead and close this. Yes. Still six blocks away. <laughs> I think that that is I think that's it. Um, oh, one of the things you could pick was um, whether you want them just left at the door or whether they have to, you know, knock, whether they, whatever. And I picked just, uh, you know, leave it at the door. So, and they call that something. I forget what they call it. Uh, so they're just going to leave it at the door. Of course, I'm tracking the uh, the person. Um, I'm not going to. Maybe in my next general video, I'll mention hey. Uh, that if something, if there's a problem, you know, if if the ice cream, did we get ice cream? I don't remember. If something's melted or if there was some kind of, you know, but otherwise, uh, uh, I'm very happy. And my plan is to, on the first of each month, I will just order some, some you know, stuff that uh, just do it myself and uh, pay for it myself. <clears throat> Actually, my wife, ex-wife, um, she pretty much pays for the groceries you know i pay the rent the electric cable a bunch of stuff and one of the things well the, this is the only thing she pays for the groceries and then i'm not sure we've had a major problem but if we have a if we needed a washer or a dryer or whatever she pays. I don't think that's come up. It came up when she was on her own or whatever. So my stomach is growling. I'm, I'm going to have some of the uh, turkey 
when it gets here and some green onions and what else? I don't know. I just filled my medicine container. I only filled it for the green ones, you know, or the ones that are filled now. I, I got a... Uh, I tell you. Got a problem that I really haven't corrected yet, but I'll get it corrected. I, for some reason, one of the medications, the heart medication and blood pressure combined, that I do need to take morning and night. And, uh, both my doctors, the heart doctor and everybody, you need to take it morning and night. Uh, for some reason, the, when I, the prescription refill or whatever got written, take one a day. This isn't it, by the way. I'm just holding it for illustrative purposes. You know, it was take one, uh, one a day. It should have been take two a day. And I got a three-month supply, so it was uh, take one a day, and they had 90. Well, it was supposed to be written for, you know, take one morning and one night. Should I, so I should have had 180 of them. So back a couple of weeks ago, I contacted my doctor my by email or by, you know, logged into the pretty neat. I'm sure in the rest of the world, uh, I'm sure. But here also we finally, you know, we're getting online here and, so I can log in and see my lab results, all kinds of stuff, send an email. And it gets to take it, stuff gets, it's better than calling on the phone. And I hate calling on the phone, partially because of hearing loss. But, so anyway, I contacted my doctor and my doctor immediately said, okay, I contacted the pharmacy and it's all taken care of. Well, for a while the pharmacy, you know, they received it. <clears throat> and then they, the thing was that the insurance company said, um, no, person already got their supply. Well, I got a, you know, half of what I was supposed to, you know. And it, so it still hasn't been corrected. So now I'm going to run out of um, the medication. And so I'm going to have to go through, you know, it's... Well, I guess this is a little, you know, it's, what do you have to, I mean, it's, uh, life is not perfect, right? So, anyway, my curtain will be coming, and I already have a curtain right up there, so I'm, I'm hoping that it will, it's just darkening, you know. I mean, it's really cheap, $17 or whatever. Uh, but it also says it absorbs, you know, the keeps the cold out or whatever. I don't think it's not really, you know, thick or heavy or whatever, but um, when it gets really cold, the, the wind comes through these wind, you know, comes through these windows. So hoping that will help. Uh, for those of you who've been following, remember the wheelchair thing and Amazon? By the way, let me do this. And pull this up. Here we go. Let me also do this because I usually do it just to sort of. Uh, if you're looking at one of the videos a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. Oh wow! Seven-year-old girl's critical condition after being shot while trick or treating. Uh, also, the Keystone Pipeline. <laughs> If you were following that story, people were concerned. Indians, because it went through Indian reservations, and Republicans just pushed, you know, that wanted that pipeline so bad. And 383 gallons of oil have uh, leaked out into North Dakota. Um, what was I saying? Can't remember now what I was saying. But uh, Trump has decided not to be a New York resident and has be is becoming a Florida resident. Too bad somehow we couldn't disqualify him and say, uh, oh, sorry, because you're a Florida resident, you can't, uh, you know, I, that's... Uh, 
Trump, you know, Trump attacks like even Republican senators and even talks about their wives and how they're ugly. And I mean, he, and now he uh, is uh, saying to the Republican senators, uh, you know, hey, let's all be friends until this impeachment thing is all over with. Um, anyway, I, my, maybe that's what I was talking about. My philosophy is it might be interesting if you're watching one of my videos a year from now or five years from now. You know, when I first started in 2005 with Amazon, I thought, you know, okay, these videos will be there and, you know, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years from now, somebody may, you know, they may look at those, you know, they may look at me in Florida walking in the rain or something or other. I've now decided <laughs> that, uh, no, these videos will disappear. Uh, X number of years from now, nobody will even, you know, know how to... Uh, watch one of the videos it'll be probably the videos will be what holograms or nobody would want to even watch one of these things and things so i've kind of given up on that idea the one thing i haven't given up on is once when not if when something happens to me uh, i've got a family member or two who i think could handle it and i got a really close friend uh, who has, I think, all my user, my he knows how to log into here. And so, uh, hopefully, if, I, I kind of hate the idea that, you know, hey, you, you know, you come and you wonder, why hasn't Jim Howard updated his YouTube site? And, well, Jim Howard is dead, you know. Um, I've run into that, like there was a... Uh, a guy, and he was a pioneer also. He was doing all the early things, and uh, he was on YouTube, and he was on whatever was before that, and whatever was before that, and he moved on to other things. And everywhere he went, he's, <laughs> he was well-known, and he was... Anyway, uh, he posted a thing on his Facebook several years ago. Well, one thing, when I went to uh, Washington, D.C., he said, Jim, why don't you, you know, I'm in, he said, I think he was in Boston. Where was it? It was someplace real close. And he said, if it's real close, why don't you come by and, you know, and visit with me for a little bit? He was, he had massive heart attack. He had open heart surgery. He had amputation of, I think, a leg. And all kinds of stuff. He was a nice guy, but and I never had any problem with him. But on all the sites that he was on, he was like war with. He was at war. Everybody was at war with him, and he was at war with everybody. I mean, those kind of people they kind of liked it. But anyway, I I said, well, I don't want to ask my family to you know run from Washington D.C. over there, so I'm sorry or whatever. So then. After that, you know, I came back, and after that, um, and I really don't, I, Facebook, I go to Facebook sometimes because a friend or family posts something, and I go and I look. I don't like, as you know, if you had a dollar for every time I've said I don't like Facebook, you'd have a lot of money. But uh, he posted this guy posted a thing on his face because he posted stuff on his Facebook page. Right wing, hardcore right wing thing. Also, you know, like uh, pro gun, made major pro gun, you know, you pry the gun from my cold hands and that kind of stuff. And I just ignored it. But then he uh, posted something on his Facebook page that said, anybody who wants to destroy, I forget exactly what, you know, anybody who wants to destroy the Second Amendment, any of you 
communists who hate guns and any, you know, all this. He says, D you know, don't, you know, don't read my Facebook page. Don't, you know, click me off, uh, whatever, you know. So I did. Okay, you know, so. And I don't know, a year, not long. I thought, uh, I wonder. So I went and checked and uh, somebody, luckily, a couple of people posted, you know, hey, he had a massive heart, you know, had a massive heart, so-and-so had a massive heart attack and, and passed away or whatever, so. So I don't want that to happen I, when, when something happens to me. And I'm, all this year I've been thinking that I'm going, that I was 77 and I was going to be in March 78. I ask Echo, actually, it's the other word, the A word. Uh, you know, if you're born on such and such a date, how old will you be on such and, you know. So, and it told me that I was 78 years old, so I'm going to be 79. And then my next birthday, I'm going to be 80. And uh, so hopefully it's arranged that when something does happen to me, when I was in the hospital for six days, I believe that my friend... Uh, posted on my site, on my YouTube site, or, or I think he might have just posted. Anyway, so that's the thing that I worry about. I, I don't want somebody who's, you know, so I, that would be something too that would be good to have set up. In fact, I think I checked into a couple things like that where Anyway, I'm still here, and uh, I am now terrified about going to the hospital and having 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 to have something done because of the catheterization that was done twice in the six days that I was in the hospital, and they nicked my prostate the first time, and I bled for about a day or so into the bag. There wasn't any, there might have been a little bit of urine in there, but it was mainly. That, by the way, also is why a little while ago, when I stopped the video and said I, I'd be back or whatever. 90% uh, of the time that I'm in my room here at my desk or whatever, I don't have any pants on. The restroom is, we'll see that door in the bottom picture, see the. The door right there, that's the bathroom. I had pants on because I didn't want to shock any of you people. And I have a couple problems. Bladder retention. Aren't you glad you're... <laughs> I have bladder retention. So my bladder retains urine, which is not good. If it retains too much urine, I guess it can overflow or back up or whatever and go down into your kidneys or something, and that's bad. Uh, so anyway, the bladder retains liquid. Now you, when you have your bladder, you know, and you're out doing something and whatever, not worrying about it too much, when your bladder gets full, it sends a signal. Oh, okay, and automatically, you're, you know, your brain and everything... I need to use a restroom. You go and and the bladder empties. Okay, I ha I have and I'm the the only one in the world. A lot of people, I think, especially many old men, maybe because of having a prostate enlarged, whatever, which I have an enlarged prostate. So with me, what happens is uh, click. Oh. I need to go to the bathroom. Well, I, I need to get there fast. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so I go and go to the bathroom and it doesn't drain. It doesn't all come out. Just a little bit does. And uh, so, of course, it fills up quicker or whatever. And it, you know, so, you know, that's a problem. You know, that's a problem. Of course, the other problem is an enlarged prostate. And what was the other problem? Anyway, before I started this the video, the, the beginning of the, you know, I had just taken a shower. 
And so, recording this video, and I get the warning, and I, I'll be back. I didn't make it to the, you know, I had to take my pants off, and I didn't make it to the bathroom door. So I need to take another, well, I took another shower. That's why I was delayed coming back again, but anyway. I don't want to, I'm too old to be taking two showers in, I don't know, three hours or four hours or something. I just, my stomach is growling, by the way. I'm going to have some turkey when it gets here. Sliced turkey. I'm not sure. It's only a $60 order. And 11, 17 of that was for the uh, curtain or whatever. Anyway, I will update you probably in the next if there's a problem which I am sure there won't be. Oh, that's one of the things here on the uh, order thing. You know, you can click. Do you want them just to drop it at your door? No no knock or whatever. That, I put, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm tracking. And uh, so they're just drop it at the door. And then, they, then of, course, of course, they put that as like a benefit of it. You know, it's like, a, hey, this is a, 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 and I'm sure that those executives sit around I'm going to start cussing or whatever because of executives and that type of stuff. I'm sure they sat around a table, you know, people making 200000 250000 or had some more, and said, you know, hey, somebody comes up, I have a great idea, you know, should fire, fire the person, you know. I have a great idea. Why don't we just have, if we, if, you know, we figured it out, you know, my staff has figured it out. If the person could just put the stuff at the door, not have to knock, not have to, you know, sign or anything, just put it at the door, that would save uh, 12 minutes. And then if you take 12 minutes times the number of, you know, that is, and blah, 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 you know, and then the other people, great idea, great idea. Then somebody says, uh... Some people are not going to like that idea because it's going to look like you're just, you don't care about them. You just dump it, you know, dump it and run. What if a person's an elderly person or what if they, you know, whatever. So somebody else, oh, you know, then somebody else, I'm sure, executive comes up. I tell you what, well, and I forget what they listed on there. We'll list that as a positive thing. Hey. We won't disturb you. We can put it, we'll write it, you know, such and such. Put it right there. So, you know. But I, this is I, fine. I, I consider it, uh, when they're coming, like for other deliveries, you know, from Amazon or whatever, I watch on the tracking and I, I give them the, have, I've given them the gate code, you know, in the, the order thing so they can look that, you know, and, and we're in a gated community and, but I'm always afraid, well, okay, they maybe won't be able to get in the gate. Sometimes, you know, those things mount. You know, if somebody punches the wrong code or whatever, then the gate locks up for a little bit or something. And sometimes we lose power and the gate doesn't open and uh, whatever. So I, I'm always watching and I'm, I'm thinking, you know, uh, or if they can't find it, I mean, if somebody is really, I mean, I, I have on the thing, the building, you know, the location of the apartment complex name, uh, the, of course they have the address, and then I tell them the building number, the building, ha each one of these buildings has a number on it, and then I tell them, you know, apartment such and such in the back, and then they, you know, they have my phone number, and everything, but, so this, this will be fine, unless they drop it at somebody else's door. So, anyway, uh, Aren't you glad you got to hear about my bladder condition and my urinary problems? Or Anyway, thank you very much for watching.